evening, everyone. My name is Johnny Scott, and today I would like to share with you a very interesting aspect of history and a look into Oklahoma's culture. Living on base, I get the opportunity to meet many non-Oklahoma natives. Before moving here, I did not know much about Oklahoma, but I chose to research its state symbols because I have learned that state symbols are a great way to get a crash course in the history of a state and the culture that they feel is important to their history. So today I will explain what a state symbol is, how they are chosen, and discuss some of the popular state symbols of Oklahoma. So let's start with what a state symbol is. According to the Oklahoma State University website, state symbols are a creative way for a state to show outsiders what types of things are important to its culture or history. Different things that show the culture it represents or things that are very common sites there are usually the things that are chosen. Now this brings up my next point. How are they chosen? State symbols can be icons of pop culture or even plants or creatures that are commonly seen or play an important role in the state's history. These things are then brought up to the legislature and then they're voted upon. So once they're agreed upon, the governor then signs them into law and they become official state symbols. Here in Oklahoma, some of the most common state symbols have very interesting stories associated with them. One of the very first <clears throat> state symbols was the state emblem. This actually was designed by Gabe E. Parker in 1907. He was 1A Choctaw, and when he designed it, he included one big star that had five points, and this represented the five Indian tribes that were here in Oklahoma. It also included 45 small stars, which represented the 45 contiguous states of the United States that were there at that time. Now we can consider the bison. In 1972, the bison was adopted as Oklahoma's state animal. The bison is very important to Oklahoma history because it was a source of food and living material for the Native Americans who have a very deep culture rooted here. And the third symbol actually had a very interesting change. In 2004, when Governor Brad Henry signed the Oklahoma State Rose into law, it actually replaced the current state flower, which was the mistletoe. And the mistletoe was then given a new name as the state's floral emblem. So as you can see, state symbols really do offer a crash course in a state's history. Being in the military, we move to many new places, and sometimes we may not know anything about these places. But each state is a new way to learn more about history and the culture through their choice of state symbols. 